Afternoon, everybody. The U.S. Defense Department does not really know how to respond to the new Iraqi law that makes the Hashtal Shabi part of the Iraqi army. If the Hashtal Shabi becomes part of the Iraqi army, will the U.S. be obliged to support it with air support and firepower? The Pentagon hopes that this legislation is never finally approved. The Iraqi National Assembly has passed a law making the Shiite militias a formal part of the Iraqi army. Will that affect how the U.S. deals with either the militias or the army? I mean, now you don't support the militias with air power, for example. Would that change under the new law? Um, first of all, this is really a matter for the Iraqis to resolve. And my understanding is it has not been completely resolved at this time. Um, and so I defer you to, to questions on their legislative action uh, to the Iraqis. Um, what I can say is we continue to support uh, uh, the government of Prime Minister Abadi and continue to support, uh, of course, forces under his control right now, and we'll continue to do that. Um, and this is, uh, again, a situation where this is, uh, has more to do with the Iraqi domestic politics as, as anything else, uh, and we'll continue to work closely with Prime Minister Abadi. Uh, but this is not uh, finalized, as I understand it, and there are also diplomatic considerations here as well. You know, there are rules regarding U.S. assistance, uh, and so these are things that uh, we think it's, uh, uh, at this point, not all those questions can be answered. Well, and are you concerned regarding the rules on U.S. assistance? Are you concerned that uh, some of these bigger militias have their origins in the insurgency against U.S. troops while they were there in Iraq up to 2011? Well, as you know, we're not providing support uh, to the PMF at this time, we're continuing to provide support to the Iraqi security forces, um, and that has not changed. And my question is, if the PMF becomes a formal part of the Iraqi security forces, would your position towards the PMF change? Um, there were a number of, we would continue to work closely with the government of Iraq, um, but we have uh, stated clearly in the past that we will not support uh, those PMF forces. Uh, if there's a change in the structure, that's a determination that the Iraqis will make on their own, and we'll have that conversation at a later time. But at this point, our position has not changed. Pentagon and State Department officials do not want to answer journalists' questions about the role of the Hashd al-Shabi in Iraq. The real issue is what the position of the next administration will be. Lori Milroy, Kurdistan 24, Washington, D.C.